Hey everybody, welcome back to Tokyo Dark. This is part six. I'm Kenny from Bearded Gentleman, and we got more shit to do. So let's get to it. Okay. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the third crane too. Because as it is. I got the, the crane from doing whatever I had to do in here. Those girls over there at that pachinko parlor want me to go kick the shit out of that fat guy. Hey, wasn't there a dude here? Oh, it's at Sushi's bookstore. It doesn't look like he's around. This is that cat cafe. I wonder if anything has changed in here, but I'll look later. Oh, really? I can't fucking leave this way? That kind of sucks. Well, I'll go in here real quick. Ask about the collector. How about the collector you mentioned earlier? The cat breeder? Oh, yeah, sure, but now's not a good time. Tomo keeps throwing up and pooping. A lot. I'm worried you might be really sick. I don't know what to do. When did all this start? Yesterday. Oh, so he hasn't even been sick all that long. His tummy seemed a little upset, but I didn't think much about it. But this afternoon, he really started to, um, explode, if he catch my drift. Sorry. I don't get it, though. Nothing in his diet's changed. That does sound odd. What's he eat normally? Oh, you know, the usual stuff. Sashimi, mostly. S sashimi You're joking, right? No, of course not. Why would I joke about that? You can't feed a cat sashimi. Of course you can. And the wild cats catch the fish right out of the streams. It's the same thing. That's not exactly the same. I have a cat, and and I bet you feed it those store-bought foods with all the extra vitamins and minerals added in, right? Well, yeah. Ah, sucker. You bought into the corporate lies about pet health. Kitties can't be healthy. Eating that chemical swill. Chemical swill? Well, my cat's also not puking everywhere, so... Sorry, I guess you're right. I, uh, got a little carried away there. I didn't mean to be rude, especially since you're only trying to help. That's all right. Your cats do seem pretty healthy. Is there anything different about today's lunch order? Now that you mention it, I usually only order one box from Soichi, the sushi vendor next door. But the last few days, I've received two boxes. He got a bad one. I didn't really think anything of it until you mentioned it. Ooh, what do I do? Say, you don't seem too busy. Why? Why don't I seem busy? I am busy. I'm very busy. Do I have a face that says, please give me errands? Well, no, but you're a fellow cat lover, and you seem so nice. It would only take a second to go talk to Soichi. Honest, I would, but I can't leave the store. I can't even think straight about the cat collector or anything else until this is off my mind. Please go talk to him. <sighs> Fine. Alright, I'll have a chat with the Soichi and see what he knows. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. It seems like helping people and not being a dick is much better for my health. Oh, you're the sushi dude. Hi, Soichi, right? I was wondering if you could set up uh, recurring lunch orders, maybe twice a week or something. Yep, that's no problem at all. We do that kind of thing for a lot of businesses around here. Why do you ask? I've set the cat cafe next door and saw one of your boxes, and work's moving me here in a few weeks, so I thought I'd see what my options were. You came from Suchiko's place, huh? Yeah, she's had a standing order with me for years. I'm surprised a woman so small can eat two whole boxes. Two boxes? No, her order's only for one. If she was ordering two, I'd suspect she was feeding it to her cats. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that would be crazy. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, do you normally deliver them yourself? So Chico's right next door, and a very sweet lady, so I always try to do it personally. That said, when it gets a bit hectic, I ask some of the other regulars around here to run it up for me instead. If you see Sir Chico, make sure to give her my regards. I'll try to go up there next time. So about that standing order you wanted to set up. 
Oh, I need to think about it a little bit more. I'll get back to you later. Thanks for the help. A little sketchy, maybe, but definitely not a cat poisoner. Finding who supplied the second box should lead me to a suspect. Hmm. Okay, she isn't here. I can talk to you now. Accuse of poisoning cats. You like cat cafes? You wouldn't catch me dead in a place like that. I hate cats. Every time I see one, they always try and scratch me. Okay, what do you have for lunch? Oh, that's a weird thing to ask. Got a box lunch from the convenience store. Why? I got my eye on you, fella. You cat-hating son of a bitch. Accused tourist of poisoning cats. You like cat cat face? Cats? Don't know. I don't like cat. Have an allergy, understand? What do you have for lunch? Lunch? I'm not interested. Thank you. <laughs> Of course, tourism at its finest. Uh, there's some other, yeah, this deadbeat. What do you have for lunch? Why, you ask me on a date, lady? When I'm on the clock, I usually get a box of sushi from Soichi down the street. You like cat cafes? Yeah, yeah, sure, they're all right. I used to have a cat growing up. I can't accuse you. Uh huh. He actually likes cats, but he had the food. Uh, okay, tiny ramen shop. Huh? Was that paper crane there before? No, it wasn't. Every time the auto magnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I talk to you girls about cats? No, I can't. Is there anybody else I can talk to? I doubt I can talk to them. Can't go in there. Well, there's only two people. There's one who hates cats. I feel like I don't have enough information. So I'm just gonna go take that fat shit first. 2,500 yen for a parfait. Suppose in a maid cafe you're not only paying for the food, but for the girls to wait on you hand and foot like a lord. Not really my thing. Hmm. I'll leave for now. Uh, I'm gonna head back to Shinjuku. Cause we're gonna beat up some fat fucking slob. And it's gonna be fun. Oh crap. You know, you're bad for business. Don't worry, I'm not planning on staying long. Where's Goto? Goto? You sweet on him all of a sudden now? I'm not messing around. You seen him? Yeah, saw him outside the bar 15 minutes ago. Where was he heading? Where do you think? Towards his favorite love spot with some little thing in tow. Believe it or not, I didn't, I didn't think to follow him beyond that. Better be quick, with all the cops hovering around, I doubt he'll stay there for long. Shit. Zoinkst. And away. Go, 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 go. Dude, that's like a crime scene. What the fuck are you doing in there? Oh. This is my favorite detective. Suppose I should thank you. Ever since that night, this place has gotten a lot more of a... Dangerous appeal. <laughs> Detective? You called the cops? I'm getting out of here, you creep. Bitch was a prude anyway. 
would barely let me touch her. You're not a prude, though, are you? Now that we're alone, why don't we start from where we left off? Don't look at me like that. She's 16. Old enough to know what she wants. As adults, we can do whatever we want, right? <laughs> the sewer. Another standoff. It felt so familiar. Shoot him. I'm gonna threaten you. Have you heard what they said about me? God. Have you heard what they said about me, Goto? Not in the news. I mean the gossip. The juicy stuff. You must know what they said I did. What was it? Toto. Answer me, Goto. They say you uh, maybe killed someone and... Killed, huh? Do you believe them? You, you think you'd scare me? I don't believe that crap. Believe what you want, Goto. The person I killed? You know where they said I did it? Down that well. That's right. You're so smart. Why don't you tell me why I might kill someone down there? Actually, I'll tell you. Because down there, no one would find your body. Hell, no one would even know where to look for it. You might not believe the rumors, but you know the last part is true. And let me tell you, Goto, you make me sick. Today, I had business in Akihabara, and your name, no, your stink, wafts over to me again. Then I find you in the same goddamn place, wallowing in your own filth as always. So right now, I'm looking at that well, and suddenly, I'm seeing one potential solution to my problem. Are you following me so far, Goto? Yes. I, it won't happen again. I, I won't take girls down here. Enough. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to stay out of Shinjuku. You're going to stay out of Akihabara. If you don't, I will find your fat, disgusting person and bring you here again. Only next time, the chat won't be so pleasant. Understand? Do you understand? Yes. Goodbye, Goto. Not on my watch, cunt. Moving on. Ooh, that was intense. So good. I don't even care if I lost professionalism for that. That felt so good. Ever since I fucking met him back in like the first or second episode. That felt great. Okay, let's go back to fucking Aki. Just tell those schoolgirls they got nothing to worry about from some creepy old fuck. Now here's the kicker, the fucking cat poisoning thing. I don't think it's being, maybe it's being done on purpose, but it, it doesn't feel like it. Anyway, Goto's gone. Oh, you're back. You don't look so good. I'm fine. Goto won't give you any more trouble. Seriously? How do you convince him to stop? Uh, that's between me and him. That doesn't matter. Forget him. Jeez, remind me not to get on your bad side. I guess we owe you, huh? Not if you hold up your end of the deal. Tell me everything you know about this collector. He knows everything, so I've got this theory, right? I think he's some sort of- Yeah, there he is again, hacker. Shutting himself in his room day in and day out. Having all that kind of dirt must be great. Though not to mention he must be loaded. The collector isn't interested in money. Hmm. If you didn't pay him, then how'd you get the picture? Mocha, you told her? I told you that was private. Well, since you know anyways. When that client started following me home, I was desperate, so I asked the collector for something that would make him stop bothering me. In exchange, he asked for only one thing. What did he ask for? I used to carry a photo of my dad on me all the time. He died when I was seven years old, and I never told anyone I'd had it. Somehow, he knew. In exchange for that photo, he gave me the incriminating photo for free. What choice did I have? I was scared, but... You should have made a copy. But what? Ever since then, I feel like I forget my dad's face a little bit more every day. It gets more and more fuzzy. Why don't you go back and get it? His shop is right under this arcade. You can get to it through, the, through an elevator, but I never found him again after that day. The elevator doesn't work normally. I tried, you know, just to see. He controls it and leaves a sign that it's turned on. 
What? You never told me that. I didn't want you going after him, Mocha. He's dangerous. Listen, I appreciate everything you did for me. Really. But don't go after him. Something... Something isn't right with him. I appreciate the concern, Akane, but there's no need to worry about me. I'm sure I've come up against a lot worse than him. Look for three paper cranes hanging in front of the elevator. If you see them, you'll be able to go down. That's all I can tell you. Thanks. Stay safe, you two. Investigation plus five. Serve and protect, baby. Well, two out of three. Two cranes. I can't believe those rumors are true. Assuming everyone's not lying to me, there's one more to go. Now, I'm gonna have to accuse one of these guys of fucking cat poisoning. Or this tourist. That guy over on the right side hates cats. But he got a convenience store lunch. The guy on the other side likes cats. But, um. Just looked again. Okay, yeah, it's the same. The guy on the left likes cats and had sushi. And he's a regular. Hmm. Maybe he's been fucking just feeding them. This is what leads me into the whole fucking... Maybe he's not doing it on purpose. Well, let's find out. Huh? How do you... Wait, wait, wait. It's not what you think. So you just you were just going in there and feeding them to the cats, right? I read the apartment above her shop, and the fur balls are always yowling all night. The nut job owner gives them sashimi at lunch, so I just added some laxatives to it, that's all. I wouldn't seriously hurt them or nothing. A little cleanup is a fair payback for a cat's keeping me up day after day. The woman's ruining my damn life and doesn't care. I know I'm not the only one who thinks that either. She should be glad it was me who taught her a lesson and not someone else. Alright, fine. I get it. You're at the end of your rope. Thing is, I'm kind of a cat person and I'm kind of a cop. Consider this a warning. Just fine, whatever you say, lady. Oh, man. Those fucking skills of deduction, baby. I'm the best goddamn cop there is. Fucking no cat poisonings on my fucking watch. This may not surprise you, but your upstairs neighbor isn't your biggest fan. Takumi, that little rat. What did he do? Is Tomo going to die? If he does, I'll wring his little neck. No, no, it's only some laxatives in the food. I think you want to ruin your day, not harm the cat seriously. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so relieved. If it's laxatives, Tomo should be fine in a day or two once it clears out of his system. What a little scumbag. What's his problem? He mentioned the cats have been keeping him up at night. A few weeks of that, and anyone might crack. You're right. I'm so used to it, I didn't notice, but... I'll get a contractor to come out and see about finally soundproofing this place. Tomo, you nearly made my heart stop. I'm glad you'll be okay. Now that our one mystery is behind us, could we return to our discussion about the Collector? Of course. I've only visited her once. So, this Collector is a woman, clearly. I think that's been the same across all three locations, although I can't remember... At the Pachinko place mentioned... Yeah, they said he was a man. But the two other spots say the collector's a woman. So maybe they're a team or something. Anyway. I wanted to add a very rare bolognese. Bolognese. That's like a fucking meat sauce. Uh, oh, it's bolognese. I, I'm just going to pronounce that as... Bolognese, because I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Read to the cafe, and after searching for weeks, I was convinced it was nowhere to be found in Tokyo. Just when I'd given up hope, I got an email out of the blue from her saying she had the breed I was looking for and to come to her shop. 
Suffice it to say, I was a, I was ecstatic. Business was doing all right, so I had some money to spare too. Only, only she didn't want money. She wanted panda. What? She wanted a panda. No, panda was the name of an old cat I had. She was nothing special, an old mixed breed who moved to Tokyo with me when I was starting up. I doubt it would have started this business if it wasn't for him, but he was also really old and having some health problems. The collector said she'd take care of him, give him the best medical care, feed him the best food. Panda's last days would be in complete comfort. In exchange, she'd give me the Balanus kitty, or kitten, for free. I thought it was the right thing to do, but Panda was family. What kind of a person am I? I gave him away. I miss him so much. I tried to go back and give the kitten back for Panda, but the three cranes outside of her shop were gone and I never saw her or Panda again. That's all I remember. Sorry, remembering Panda always makes me sad. Thanks for the help. Yeah, I should get back to work. Don't eat the fish. Okay. So... Yeah, that's definitely another thread they all have in common is that the trades are never for money, but for something important to whoever's getting traded with. The trade E. That's it. Three paper cranes. Buttons on the elevator are lit up now. Oh, God. Down we go. Oh, this isn't creepy. This doesn't seem right. Doesn't match the descriptions I got at all. <laughs> what was that? Who's there? Reyna? Is that you? Huh? Who's there? Look around you. Interesting, isn't it? It said that cranes can grant a wish. What is it you wish for? Hmm. I've never been one to believe in wishes. Are you him? The collector? Collector? Crow? One of many names given to me over the years. Ah, but we have no time to waste on such boring, trivial things as introductions. Don't you want to know who I am? You probably already know who I am. Oh, I know who you are, Detective Ito. Or should I say, Investigator. So hard to keep straight. I suppose it's irrelevant. What you call yourself now is you've arrived exactly where you need to be. Hmm. Something's different. Yes, yes. What is it? I wonder. Ah, that's it. You're like me. After a fashion. You see things differently from those around you. The world is not so solid and unchanging as it is for them. Things bend. They break. Am I wrong? No. Nothing has been the same since Kamakura. Yes, yes, of course. The girl you murdered, Reina. Was that your fault? S something made me. Then you are a puppet, dancing at the end of your strings to a tune you cannot hear? No, that's not what I said. I'm no one's puppet. You're so sure, Detective. You really feel like everything you've done is under your control? When faced with the impossible, you're so certain that every choice you make is your own? I... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they're made for me. Well, here I am. Which is easier, I wonder? The knowledge that the cause of all your suffering and your joy is of your own doing or someone else's? I don't have time for this. Ah, of course, of course. Our conversation is tilted towards the philosophical. You're not here for philosophy. You want something more tangible. I want information. Facts. No. It is my business to know what people desire, and that is not what you seek. What is it you want, truly? Tanaka. I want to know what really happened to him. No, it's not only that. I want to know what's happening to me, too. Nothing makes sense anymore. 
I'm tired of chasing at the clues that lead to dead ends. Perhaps I can be of some help to you. But first, please indulge me. I have a few questions. I'm curious. So curious. You're such a unique visitor, after all. Yes, nothing like the others. Fine. What do you want to know? On the night of your partner's disappearance, you intimidated a hostess, threatening to shut down the establishment. Your reasoning. Uh, I didn't want to demean myself. It was that or do something beneath me. So you think your self-image is worth more than your partner's life. No, it, it's not like that. What is this, some sort of psych test? I came here for answers. Enough with the games. It's no game, detective. I can give you what you seek. This is my price. That's it? If you wanted information to use against me, it seems you've already got enough. Blackmail? How pedestrian. Simplistic. No, oh, no, I have no interest in that. Then what do you want? Everything I collect brings me closer to an understanding, much like you. Only the puzzle I assemble is considerably larger, and the piece you provide is well worth the trouble. Shall we continue? Do I have a choice? You've already made it. You, so, you show such a little patience, detective. Surprising, considering the effort you took to get here. The girl, Reyna. She's the one you've been chasing, yes? Let's talk about her. Why didn't you shoot her again in the sewers? She was holding your dear Tanaka at knife point. Why didn't you pull the trigger? Uh, I didn't want to hurt anyone, but I was trying to keep her talking. The situation was hopeless. The best I could do was keep her talking. Learn as much as I could. Hmm. Interesting. Most interesting. Though she's gone, the sleepless nights continue, don't they? You've taken your pills three times, following the doctor's orders like a good little puppet. Does that not make you question the futility of it all? Most interesting. Perhaps you've told me enough. Yes. Yes, this is most useful. I accept this trade. In return, you want... What was it? Oh, yes, that's right. A path. A way forward. I suppose it's your turn to ask the questions now. What are you? The mask. Where is Tanaka? Is he alive? The mask. I don't know why, but I get the hunch that you'll know what this is. What is it? Rena was obsessed with it. It must be important, but I can't figure it out. Ah, I see. A most interesting relic. It makes people do the most fascinating things. Why did Rena want it so badly? It is a tool. Instead of living in fear of it, why not use it? It may be the key that will help you find your precious Tanaka. Though as powerful as it is, one cannot expect to use it knowing nothing about it. You said it yourself. It all started in Kamakura. The Kawanas have quite a history with that mask. The Kawanas? My. The Shrine Maiden girl? Her grandmother was the one who gave it to me. The very same. It gives me the creeps. Maybe I should have gotten rid of it. Don't do that. You'll never find your way without it. Where is Tanaka? And is he alive? In the dark. Whether he lives? Mm, that is more difficult. The dark? That's not the first time I've heard of that. What is it? And where can I find it? A better question is where can it not be found? Can you not feel it around you? Following you at every turn? It pays great mind to those within its walls. 
You know of whom I speak. The common thread that binds all the misery in your heart. Reina. And if that's where she is, Tanaka must be there too. The girl's thread is a complicated one. Yes, very tangled. It begins in Kabukicho, in a talent agency called Omega. Kabukicho. Hmm. I know it well enough. As I imagine any officer of the law would. The dark is a sacred place. It lives and breathes, changes shape, and goes where it pleases. And it is the girl whose suffering determines its shape. Without understanding its root, you'll never find your way. Or... It could tear you apart. Like it almost, are, like it almost has already. What are you? A dressmaker? A cat breeder? A blackmailer? Seems that no one in this town can agree on anything about you, except your name. There's no way anyone could know what you do. It's impossible. So, what are you? Take a look around you. Is it not familiar? Can you not smell it? The stench of corruption? I've been here for so long. Longer than you can imagine. Feeling the desires, the loves, the hatred of mankind flow through this place? For you, detective? I am exactly who you need me to be. Now, shall we return our attention to the matter at hand? Our trade, after all, was not for the knowledge of how I fit into your story. It was for a way to clear the... How did you put it? Uh, yeah, to clear the dead ends you run up against. Let us reconsider your problem. The mask and the dark are inexorably linked. Pursuing one without the other is futile. Now, you are an enemy of the dark. It will reject you without understanding it. And you'll be lost without the necessary tools. How will I know when a path's been opened? Ask your puppet master. My end of the bargain has been upheld. You seem awfully eager to help me. What's the catch? Something tells me I'm going to regret talking to you. Paranoia. An unnecessary feeling. As I said, people fascinate me, especially ones as unique as yourself. You are a detective, so I've only given you the tools you need to finish the job. From there... Ah, now that. That is, an in, that is the interesting part. I look forward to seeing your progress. Consider your debt to me partially repaid. The rest, I shall collect at another time. Tell me, my little puppet. If you can see your strings, does your dance not continue? Until we meet again. Well, that was a long-ass conversation. Now, I'm not sure if anything's going to happen from here. So... I'm going to cut this one off right here. Man, that got interesting right at the end, didn't it? So, I will see you guys in part 7. So, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.